Judge Rules Utah Woman Legally Married to Deceased Partner A Utah state judge has declared a 74-year-old woman and her long-term lesbian partner legally married, three months after her wife died. Judge Patrick Coram declared Bonnie Forster legally married to Beverly Grossaint, who died in May in Salt Lake City at age 82. Same-sex marriage became legal in Utah in 2013 and nationwide in 2015. Utah does not have common law marriage but residents can petition the court to recognize a marriage. My heart was so full with love, Ms. Forster recalls of the 21 August ruling. Judge Coram came down from the bench and hugged me and said, Yes you are married, Ms. Forster told the BBC. Robert Hole, Ms. Forster's attorney and friend of the couple for more than 20 years said the ruling is unusual, though not unprecedented. Mr. Hole told the BBC that this month's ruling marks the second case of its kind in Utah. It's even more rare do it with same-sex couples he said. In the many years he knew the couple, Mr. Hole said he saw a real bond between the partners. Ms. Forster first met Ms. Grossaint more than 50 years ago in, in New York City in January 1968. Their initial meeting occurred under unhappy conditions. Escaping an abusive husband, Ms. Forster said she was suffering from broken ribs, and wore dark sunglasses to conceal two black eyes. I was banged up from head to toe, she says. She came over to me and she said, take your sunglasses off. It's January, says Ms. Forster. The connection was instant. I fell in love. I looked into her blue eyes, and I fell in love, she says. She was the one for me. Just over a week later, the couple moved in together. They were inseparable from that point on, according to Ms. Forster. Ms. Forster told the BBC that friendship was key to their lasting relationship, even through its challenges. We laughed a lot. We never went to bed angry. We said I love you even though we pissed each other off sometimes. They moved to Utah in 1979 to take care of Ms. Gross Saint sailing mother. The couple's five-decade relationship endured a series of health challenges faced by Ms. Forster. Throughout their relationship, Ms. Forster suffered from breast cancer and cervical cancer underwent 29 back surgeries, blindness caused by macular degeneration and a rare bone infection that caused amputation of both legs in 2016. She stood by me, says Ms. Forster. She was an amazing woman, with amazing morals. By 2016, Ms. Grossaint was beset by her own health problems, including vision loss and chronic heart failure. Though the couple lived in separate care facilities during the month before Ms. Grossaint's death, Ms. Forster was with her partner when she died. I never let go of her hand and felt all the love she had for me. After 50 years together, Ms. Forster says the loss of her partner has been devastating. I'm lost. I don't know who I am, Ms. Forster says. She was my life. Ms. Forster added that they had a holy union ceremony, not legally binding, in New York City in 1975, but their continued health issues prevented them from marrying when it became legal throughout the U.S. in 2015. Though she experienced discrimination her whole life due to her sexuality, Ms. Forster says she has experienced positive change throughout her relationship with Ms. Grossaint. I think people are more accepting now. Utah does not have common law marriage, but the state allows couples to petition the court for marriage recognition without a formal ceremony. Partners must be of legal age, be legally capable of entering a marriage, have lived together, treat each other as though they are married and present themselves so that others believe they are married. She was born for me and I was born for her, Ms. Forster told the BBC. We found each other. I believe that, 